Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at Soul Magic 99 and this is part two of the reading What Does the Divine Masculine Need to Heal? and Healing Advice right now. So this is part three and part four. So this is this beautiful crystal and part four is this beautiful green crystal. So pick your pile and we'll get started. Get your messages. Okay. So where's the masculine at right now? So we have the moon. Mountain. Eternal heart. Masculine. Lilies. Love language. Time. Feminine, letter, stars. So we're going to clarify these messages. So we've got the moon. It says love, romance, intuition, psychic abilities, imagination, creativity, admiration and achievement. So this masculine is possibly very in touch with the moon. We just had the new moon and the full moon had been a couple of weeks. He could be very intuitive. He could be very much in you know comfortable in his feminine energies so let's see what the moon's about so we have the seven of swords so maybe there was some deception around okay maybe things weren't seen very clearly um in this connection i want to clarify that again the chariot so I feel he does want to come forward at some point to make amends, to clear up this confusion or lack of truth. And then we have mountains, obstacles and challenges. So what do we have for that? So we have the three of coins. So somebody's working hard here on a project. You know, they're working really hard, you know, to get things done, to sort of chip away at things and then we have eternal heart infinite unconditional soul love so we've got five of swords so i think this masculine was conflicted to be honest between mind and heart maybe he wasn't accepting of this connection and he had this inner conflict maybe his heart wasn't open let's get another message yeah we've got the ace of wands so he it could have been a very passionate connection but maybe his heart wasn't open at the time. And then we have the divine masculine. We have the feminine and the masculine. So it's definitely counterparts in this connection. And then we have ten of cups. So the masculine does want this. Happy ever after this contentment, this family life. Okay, that's what he does really want. And maybe that's something that went wrong for him before. And it's made him lose hope that that's a possibility. And then we have lilies, which is passion, sexuality and pure divine love. So we've got the hanging man. So it looks like this passion's got to wait for now. And this love's got to wait. It's in like a pause um, situation because your masculine is doing work on himself at the moment. And then we have love language, social media, text and calls and dating. So we have the king, uh, sorry, the knight of wands. So this is passion, you know, somebody wants to come in and communicate with passion here. Then we have time. Trust, we must go on regardless and trust in divine timing. So we've got the Ace of Cups. So love is here, there is love here, self-love is here, love is here. There's a cup of love. So this is going to be about divine timing, okay, when the time is right. This will happen. And then we have the feminine. So we have the hierophant. So maybe this masculine does want to commit, have a traditional commitment with his feminine when the time is right. Okay, he does want to make that commitment. And then we have letter, thoughtful, passionate, loving. So with the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So maybe this is a feminine in this connection. She has the sword across her heart. She's protecting herself at the moment. So she's possibly guarded to any communication. So let's get another message. So we've got the hermit. So I feel, 
you know, both people are withdrawn at the moment from each other. You know, they're doing their own healing work at this time. But once that is done, there will be communication, I feel. And then we have stars, divine guidance, healing and inspiration. And we have the lovers, so that's beautiful. So yeah, this is a divinely guided connection. You know, you are counterparts and you will want to be together. You know, it's a passionate love connection here. So that's beautiful. So let's get the other messages. So where's the masculine at right now? So he may be tapping into some ancient knowledge and wisdom. You know, maybe he's trained, training to be a shaman or he's getting advice from a shaman. He wants to be that sexy, confident man, to be self-assured, expressive, flirtatious. He may not have been looking after himself. He may have been unhealthy, okay? But he's started to go within. He's connecting to his inner knowing. He's in a self now, he's in a guidance and he's working on his self-love and his self-esteem right now. He's a generous spirit, he wants to be giving, he likes giving to other people. He loves animals and he connects well with animals. He could have a pet maybe, um, maybe he has a pet that helps, you know, because, you know, they give such unconditional love and they're very healing. He could be suffering with anxiety, stress, feeling quite fearful about the future at this time, okay? And then we've got fearless. So, you know, he could be in two minds. I mean, one minute he could feel fearful and another time he could feel quite fearful, uh, fearless. Yeah, he could be a light worker and he's working on helping raise the consciousness. But obviously, initially he needs to raise his own consciousness at this time. He could have had unhealthy behaviours and addictions to drink, drugs or sex. Yeah, he's doing mirror work. He's working on that self-love, that self-esteem right now. And this has been time apart. You know, you've been apart for some time. But he's, he's starting to live in the moment, you know, stopping to smell the roses, living in the now. But in the past, I feel he was in denial. He wasn't aware of self of how he felt and about this person, you know, his feminine and this connection. He had a fear of love, you know, maybe because of broken relationship before and didn't feel worthy, maybe. But he has been missing his feminine and he's not quite sure what's going on here. And he wants to hold her again and kiss her again. So what does he want to say? You are the most beautiful person on the inside and out. No one can hold a candle to you, my eternal flame. Get ready because I'm, here I come. I cannot resist the magnetic pull any longer and I'm burning up with sexual fire for you. We saw that in all the wands. I need you to let go of your anger and stop blaming me for everything so I'm able to come towards you. Please work on healing yourself and forgiving me. If you send me love, I will feel it and know that it is safe to reach out to you because we had the Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords come up there so that could be the energy that you're in. I'm awakening to this journey and learning more about our connection. I'm a logical thinker and I'm opening up to the spiritual world. Thank you for opening my eyes. I want us to learn how to have healthy arguments. I've sought professional advice to improve communication and our relationship. The answer to your question is yes. So what does he need to work on? We've got the heart chakra here. He needs to find that emotional balance within him. You know, the masculine, the feminine, the negative, the positive. You know, the dark, the light, to find that harmony and that peace within. And the heart chakra again, to work on compassion, compassion for himself and others, to be more caring, have that empathy and acceptance and be gentle on himself. We have soul lesson here, nobility, or a chakra, which is like the soul star chakra. This is higher guidance. Okay, so he could be tapping into higher guidance right now. And we have support, you know, there could be support out there for him. He could have some people around him that are supporting him right now. And there's many blessings going to be coming in, okay, to this connection. So again, the heart chakra again. So, yeah, it's about working on these issues and, op you know, being open to give and receive love with your friends, family and partner. Um, the throat chakra's 
out of balance here so that needs to be worked on yeah body and soul so i feel once he does that work on himself you know this will really help with his soul work so we've got messages from spirit if you want them make it obvious they're waiting on you to make the first move have your arse, move your arse and take the fucking leap already. So spirit advising this masculine to move forward to take that leap of faith. You know, because there's love and passion here <coughs> for his feminine. But obviously he needs to do that work before he's ready. So there are your messages, Pile 3. I hope that resonated. Hello, Pile 4. You chose the green crystal. So where's this masculine at right now? So we have Surrender. The answer is yes. Reinvention. Action. The answer is no. Grief. Numbing. Spring. Barrier. And bound. So surrender. So this is what your masculine needs to do to surrender to to not try and control things sorry i dropped a card <laughs> to not try and control things in his life to just surrender to just go with the flow which is very hard sometimes so let's get the message so we have seven of pentacles so this, you know, he's trying to build up some financial stability here. And when you plant seeds, you know, they don't sprout up. You know, the flowers or the plants, they don't grow immediately. You have to give it time. You have to water them, nurture them. And he's got to surrender to this, to building up his financial situation right now. And just go with the flow. And the answer is yes. So what's that about? Ten of Wands. So I think he's coming to the end of a cycle here. You know, he's, he's coming to the end of a, quite a burdensome time. So, you know, he's glad that he's out of that cycle, basically. And then we have reinvention. So what's that about? Page of Wands. Yeah, so this is about, you know, movement forward um maybe a message coming in a passionate message maybe he's been thinking about things and he wants to express himself in that way and that's followed by action with two of swords so i think he's not clear about what action he wants to take he knows he wants to take action but he's not clear what action and he's not seeing clearly because there's a blindfold on and the answer is no so there's He's in, you know, we've got the yes and the no card. So he's in two minds. He's weighing up. He's weighing up his indecision right now. And then we have grief. We've got justice here. So I believe he's been working through some grief issues and he has to find that balance within himself, that emotional stability, you know, working through these difficult feelings, these difficult emotions, and he's got numb in here so he could have been using substances to numb his feelings so let's get a message on that <coughs> so we've got ten of pentacles so this could be a loss of this sort of family situation i feel it could have had a loss of a family situation and he's grieving the loss of that and he's numbing himself basically okay to to cope with that and then we have springtime so we have Queen of Swords. So this could be his feminine, maybe the an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, let's get another message on that. Eight of Swords. So I think he's choosing to remain stuck just now, actually. I mean, springtime is a while away now. He's choosing to remain stuck for some reason. Um, so he, he needs to do more healing on himself. Because then we have Barrier. And we have six of wands. So he does want that victory. But I feel he's like blocking himself. Because then we have bound as well. We've got the tower. Yeah. So I feel the tower is going to have to come in. Because he does want victory of his family. And he does want to move forward in this connection. 
but his past is holding him back. He's stuck. He's he's blocked himself. So the tower's going to have to come in. And then we've got the Nine of Cups. So he will find that, you know, love for self, that love, that wish fulfillment, you know, mo moving forward. He will overcome these um, blocks that he's having. And then we've got the Ace of Wands. So he will want to, you know, take that passionate action forward, have that new beginning. And then we have the Ace of Cups. So he does want to express his love here for his feminine. Okay, but he, he's got to overcome these blocks. So where else is he at? Yeah, he's got that sexual longing, you know, for his feminine. He feels the chemistry is amazing. And he can't get his feminine out of his head. And he wants to meet up again. And literally she took his breath away when he met her. And he's really noticing that she's not around anymore. He's really feeling that now. But he's not sure what the road ahead holds. You know, he's not sure what... The, but he does want that union. He does want that reunion with his Divine Feminine. Yeah, he's missing her so much. He's craving her, basically, and he wants to see her again. He's, he's hoping for karmic justice in this situation. You know, there could be karma that he's dealing with here. But he must have been in the player energy, I think, when you first met him, maybe. And he's working on his self-respect and being more honest and sharing and being open about who he is. And he's he's learning to go with the flow of life. We have that at the beginning with surrender. But this person is stubborn. That could be about the bound and blocked emotions. His stubbornness was holding him back, okay? Yeah, I mean, when you met him, he could have been come across as quite cold a lack of emotion. I think this is self-protection because of the hurt he'd been through in his previous relationship. But he's got hope now in his heart. He's looking forward. He's trying to be more positive about his life. And there's been um, angelic assistance in this connection, okay? And divine timing is at work here. So what does he want to say? You are on my mind constantly. Do you think about me often? I am celibate, I'm waiting for you. You are my one and only desire. I belong to you. To inflame marriage. So it looks like he wants to marry his feminine. There is love in the silence, even though I haven't always said it with words. I know that you have my love because it's always there. You are priceless to me and I love and adore you. Don't feel worthy because I eff things up with you. And I want to know if you will give me another chance. I want you back. Prolonged separation due to significant past life karma and lessons that need to be learned for soul mission and union. So yeah, he's working on these issues right now. I want to reach out to you, but I don't know what to say at this time. I know I need to make things right because this separation is tearing me apart. We will have to rebuild the trust to build a solid foundation for a relationship to heal and thrive. So he's aware that he may have lost your trust here. So what does he need to heal? What does he need to work on? So we have the um, crown chakra here. So, yeah, he's connecting. He needs to find his faith and connect to the divine guidance and support available to him. And the guidance, the crown chakra again. So I feel he's going through some sort of awakening right now. Okay, and he's, he's going to get signs and he's going to get pointed in the right direction. And this is about the root chakra. So when you do a lot of work with the crown chakra, you need to ground yourself with the root chakra. So a good way to do that is to go and walk out on the grass barefoot. Or if you can't do that, just envision roots going down from the soles of your feet right into Mother Gaia to connect yourself. So grounding is needed. And he wants to be a free spirit. You know, maybe his life he felt very restricted and he wants to be more of a free spirit moving forward. But at the moment, he needs that time alone. He's having that healing time alone. And he's working on his solar plexus. You know, he's working on being self-disciplined and independent in his life. Yeah. And he's taking on responsibility for his own emotions and actions in life. So that's all positive. 
and he's learning to quieten the mind and this will help him to connect to the spirit to the universe okay so he's very much working on that so just some guidance from spirit now You can't follow them, they must do this journey alone right now. So both the masculine and feminine need to be on their own at this time to, you know, do the healing work needed. Get creative and make shit happen. So maybe tap into your creativity, maybe there's some creative projects you can do. Or just get creative in the way that you move through your life and your world um, to achieve what you want to achieve. So there your message is powerful, so I hope that resonated. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see you in my next video. Many blessings, take care.